All right, CS10, welcome back. We're going to take a look at text now. We've already taken a look at text, actually. We did some fonts, right? Uh, we changed the font size. We changed the font itself. And we also looked at line height, which is really nice. I'm going to review those things just to make sure they're clear. And then we'll take a look at how do we do some other things with text. So uh, fonts are really straightforward. My fonts are being styled by uh, in the body here. So I just got some font families going on. You know what, I have a double font family here. And that means that this one's going to win because this one comes second, this one gets overruled. I'm not using font family Arial anymore. But font family, remember the whole Google fonts things? That's how I got this font. It's lovely. You know, it's this code up here. Okay, so that's, you know, selecting a font family. And then in the paragraph itself, I chose the font size to be 14 point. You can change that to whatever you want. And then this line height thing, do you remember how this works? 1.5, um, so let's just say 1M to start with is one, whatever this size is. Uh, so if I change this size to like, you know, 20, then 1M refers to like the same size. So I don't have to like mess around. And then also I don't have to do math. So if I wanna say one and a half size, I can do 1.5. I don't have to be like, well, half of 20 is 10, so it's 30. Which is not that hard, but like, you know, get into weirder ones, like 1.20, you know, like what, then it's still not that bad, but like, you know, you can see if this was like 21 point, you know, this could get a little bit annoying. So this just allows us to say, yeah, one and a fifth of whatever that is, and just does the math for us. So I'll stick this back to, you know, 14. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger, uh, just so we can see it. And I like uh, 1.5. This is like double space. So maybe I'll stick double space on just to show you what that looks like. Putting some space in your text helps it be readable. And, and that's a major concern for websites is making things readable. Let's go over here, refresh. Wow, there it is, like really like stands out, right? Really quite readable. I can read this without any struggle or challenge. So what are some other things we can do with this text? So one thing is aligning the text. So there's a text align property. And what a lot of students like to do is center the text and it doesn't look bad. I, I don't think it's a wrong choice. This is the one I see a lot of students do. Not so many websites are like really down with the centering of text, especially like in an article or something you have a lot of reading to do. But in a blurb, you know, or just like a little um, um, thing it mentions as you're scrolling through the website, centering is, is great. For a large block of text, I wouldn't recommend it for that. What I would recommend is justify. Whoa, and some people hate justify too, so let's not be, let's not say it's the perfect thing or anything. Uh, if you justify, do you see how like this side lines up and this side lines up? And then it changes the spacing between words in order to make those two edges line up nicely. So that's, uh, that looks kind of professional and magazine layout-y. Uh, but you can also do left or right. Um, left, I think, let's just double check. Left is, yeah, the default. It lines up along the left and the this end is just, you know, however it breaks off. And you can also do the same with justify right. But I don't see people do this one too much. Maybe if it was like in some kind of table or something, you know, it lines up this way. But, you know, I don't see, you know, it's like some kind of weird haiku or something maybe. <laughs> um, so I'll put justify, I guess, just for fun. Uh, you can also do a text indent. So if you want to like have like an indent for your paragraph, I'll put it as like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what a number 20 pixels probably is not too big. Uh, and then it'll just indent the first part of the paragraph. Uh, oh, that's a bizarre thing to do. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we got a little indent now on our paragraph. And if we had multiple paragraphs, that actually might be a, a handy thing. I might boost that up a little bit just to make sure it's really visible. There we go. So now my paragraphs have indents the way paragraphs are sort of meant to have. Uh, what else can we do? Well, there's also text decoration. And this one I was trying to find um some different properties for there's a lot of ones like you can underline it or italicize it or bold it that's sort of what text decoration is like you can do bold for example and you know your text will get um you know become bold i actually this font i don't think bolds very well uh i think i, I think i had to change it uh so we could do underline maybe that might work out a little bit better and you can see now it's underlined. I don't know. And I don't think this is necessarily that useful in this situation, but you know, maybe you have some other things. There's a bunch of properties. Overline, like what the heck is an overline? You can put a line on top of it. Getting wild. <laughs> what's what's happening? I don't I don't know what to say. Uh, but there's lots of different text decorations. I forget what the one is um, uh, where you can capitalize all your text. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But you know what? There's like great websites to tell you this information. Um, text decoration properties. 
you know, you can find a whole lot of different things uh, if you take a look and see what is available. Um, you can um, specify a bunch of stuff in here. Dash, this is the style of the underline. Um, what's this? Where is um, style? Yeah, so I don't know. We can do a bunch of different things uh, inside of here. So yeah, you can take a look at sort of our text uh, properties uh, for more text align, text decoration, you know, we've seen color and so on. So I think that's a pretty good amount of things to know how to do with, uh, with text. Okay, thanks everybody. You can play around with that a bit and uh, tell me how things are going. Thanks so much.